Hi there, I am going to show you how to create an email with the Tatango Campaign Builder. First, I want to go over here to settings and I want to choose my email body color. Right now it's white um, and then my body width is 600 pixels and that's about best practices so let's stick with that. And then the background, so when you start it's going to have the background color you chose in your global theme. Um, I want to override that global theme and make it white. So I will do that and you can choose this square and choose any color you want. I'm going to go white. Alright, let's go to the components. Now over here is going to be your component panel and these are all of the components you can drag into the body of your email. Um, and then down here is going to be layouts that you can drag the components into. I'm starting out with a section. Um, and so I am going to drag in an image because I want a logo at the top of my email. So I'm going to check this box over here that says use company logo. And this um, sidebar is going to be where you control all of the components once you drag them in. So I'm going to use the company logo pull in awesome co and it's a little bit big so I'm going to change the size let's go 200 pixels and that's going to size proportionately and then let's create some alt text for that image awesome co and my alignments great I can go left right or center all right looks good Okay, I'm done editing that, and now I need um, some text. So I'm gonna pull in a one column layout here. It's gonna give me what we call section, and drag in some text. Okay, and when, you'll notice once you pull in your text, you're going to get this toolbar that goes across the top here. And this is how you're going to edit and control your text. So I'm going to change uh, the size and make it a little bit bigger as a headline and center it. That looks good. And now I notice it's a little bit close to the logo. So I'm going to grab the section here. You can grab inside, which is the component, or the, inside the body, or you can grab the section by going out here. And I'm going to add some padding to the top of that. So I'm going to go just a little bit bigger there. And then I want to add in another text component for a subhead. All right, let's center that and let's make that italic. Okay, done with that. And now I want to pull in um, an image. So let's grab a single column and an image component. Just drag it in there and this green line is going to show you where the image is going to go, where your component is going to go. And I click on it once and let me grab that image. Awesome header. All right, it's a little big, so I'm going to change the width. And it will, oop, that's a little small, so 400. That'll size down perfectly, and then I'm um, done with that. And let's pull in another column because I want some body copy. Grab my text. I'm going to copy that from another document I have. Alrighty, I want that to be a little bit bigger. And I want to increase the line height on it because it looks a little bit squishy. There we go. Alright, and now let's go ahead and drag in a button. Um, here we go, I can go drag it into that same layout that I had. And this is going to pull in my button colors and all the settings I created in the global settings. But let's change this to be awesome. And then you can add a link and then this unique name will populate and that's how you're going to know and track who clicked on what. 
And then here's your style, primary or secondary, and these are coming from global. So that was my secondary. There's my prim primary. And then if I wanted to, I could override the global theme, and I get all of these controls for my button. I can change the font, the background color, font color. I can add a border, or make it a different color, play with the radius of the corners. There we go. And we can add some more padding to the left and right, maybe make it a little bit bigger in this way. Great. And now I see it's a little bit close to this text. So I'm just going to grab this text component and give it a little space on the bottom. Oh, that's too much. Let's try 30. All right, there we go. Okay, looking good. And now I want to do a couple two-column layouts. So I drag this in here, find my green line. There we go. And I want an image here on the left. So I'm going to grab an image. Looks great. And then some text on the right. Make that a little bit bigger. And bold. All right. And put some body copy in here. It's very easy to just drag it over. Okay, and now I want a text link here. So what I'm gonna do is add some text. There we go. Text link one. Great. Now I want another another section just like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click outside here, and it's going to give me these controls. And this is a move. You can drag it, or you can duplicate it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to duplicate it and double click this image. Grab my second image. All right, looks good. And then I change this text. Add a link. There we go. Alrighty, it looks great. And just to show you how this works, to drag it, if I wanted to switch the position of these two layouts, I could easily do that. And let's give it a little bit of space. So I'm going to grab that section and add some padding at the top. There we go. Alrighty, and now I think, let's see, one more button at the end. I'm going to add a column, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this button. No need to recreate it. And I'm going to drag it down here. Give this a little bit of space on the top. There we go. Maybe give it a different call to action. Okay, and every email needs a footer. So you, what you can do is just check this footer box. And there's your footer, and that pulls in from the global settings. And then one other thing, I think I'm I'm done pretty much. One other thing that I wanted to show is you can change the background color in, in sections by clicking 
out, the outer bounds of the section um, and then going to custom and you know if I wanted to make it a nice blue I could do that there we go but I think I'm gonna keep it white so there we are that is the Tatango campaign builder